Well, hello to you too. We're gonna build our first assembly NABU application using the homebrew project tutorial. And we're gonna do that today because this is gonna be a lot of fun. So visit nabu.ca, click on homebrew, and under the Z80 assembly tutorial, we'll select that. Now, this is our quiver. These are things that are suggested that you're gonna to wanna to need for compiling all your programs. Today, we're gonna to be using the sample Hello World. And this is got everything you need so you don't have to download anything else. But if we just click on it, boom, and open up our folder, and there we have our Hello World file. So let's extract the contents of that file. Go into the folder and here's our hello world assembly file. So we can double click on that and here we can look at what's actually going on. So we can see that there's a bunch of constants up here for ports. We can have a few no ops because this is an interesting story is that NABU actually uploads the program into 1410 but it calls 14D. That's your entry point. So uh, you have to put a couple no ops in here just so that you don't miss any bytes because if you did put two or three commands in here you're going to be missing them and especially if you're going to be doing anything with the stack or calling anything you could that could cause a lot of grief um so you can scroll through here what you're going to find as well is that there are a ton of no ops so no op operations so um this is because we i left these in here to demonstrate that a program that is larger than 1k will actually get split up into the uh, network adapter when it gets uploaded into the, into the NABU. So that's what that's there for. And I left them in because I think it's kind of fun for people. So to compile our program and get it onto the NABU, all we have to do now is just double click on our bat file. And there's the output of the compile. And the reason why it worked is because I included inside this zip file the actual Z80 compiler that we're using. Now, to get this thing on our NABU, we're going to want to launch our NABU internet adapter. Go into your file settings. And under source, select use local folder for homebrew. Then you're going to want to select a folder that contains your binary. So I've downloaded mine to my downloads, hello world. And then you want to check this clear pack cache on init. This will clear any caching that's occurring in, in, internally. So every time you make a change and recompile the program, it won't, the uh, program itself, this program, the network adapter, won't cache any of the information so that NABU will get the most recent version. So we'll save that. We'll click on start. And then on our NABU, we'll power up. There you can see it's downloaded the file and hi Nabu. So you guys could do the same thing, run this at home and you can be one of the first people in the last 40 years to have put code on a Nabu computer. So <laughs> that's a lot of fun. If you do do it, uh, share on YouTube. Let me know because I think this is great. Change the messaging, see if you can figure out how to do that. Um, I did put the messaging at the bottom of the file so you can kind of figure out how to create your own fonts. But I think this is, uh, this is a really fun little project for people. All right, have fun guys.